You and me are wondering about the future of law and especially Kid. Both of them faced two Yonkos while ago and they got slammed so badly. In today's video I'm going to talk about Law vs Kid and what's gonna happen next. Now many people think that Law is definitely way stronger than Kid but it's actually so close. So let's go through their feats to scale them accurately after that I will talk about their future. Based on their battle with Big Mom it might seem to you that Law is doing more than 70% of the work but that's not true. You have to understand that both of them were doing a very hard work to take down Big Mom. Kid is really underrated comparable to Law in terms of power which I'm going to prove. Starting with physical strength and apparently Kid is taking this round and if you disagree let me know the reason in the comments. Moving to general speed and obviously it goes to Law because he can teleport. But for combat speed I think they are relatives and I want to emphasize that Law is not blitzing Kid as you think. Because we've seen many characters countering Law's teleportation. So overall speed goes to Law but that doesn't mean Kid won't be able to compete. Moving to hockey and this one goes to Kid for sure and also we don't have enough beats from both of them. It's confirmed that Kid is a Conqueror's hockey user but Law is not confirmed yet. But we got the Dr. Q situation where Law used hockey to reveal the effect of his Dale fruit. Both of them barely got hockey feats but for now Conqueror's hockey goes to Kid because his hockey is likely stronger. For armament and observation both of them can use the basic types for now but that might change in the near future. Moving to stamina and we can all agree that stamina goes to Kid because he got better feats. I don't know if you forgot about this or not but Hawkins was tying his dev fruit to Kid and was doing damage to him. Also if you look at their fight with Big Mom, Kid took the most powerful attacks like Mother's Misery. So Kid took more damage than Law in this fight from Hawkins and Big Mom. And even in this panel here Big Mom is surprised that Kid is still able to continue fighting. So I think stamina goes to Kid because he got better feats and for Law I'm going to talk about the Thunder Bagua later. For defense I think it goes to Kid to be honest because Law's dev fruit is not better than Kid's in terms of defense. As I said before he got better stamina than Law which matters. Although they got knocked out twice by Big Mom but Kid took more damage than Law and still able to fight. He showed great endurance in this fight and he can use his dev fruit to increase his defense better than Law. Now let's talk about the Thunder Bagua and why Law didn't got one tapped. This the situation here is what we can call plot armor because Law's defense is not better than Luffy's gear 4. Yamato clashed with Kaido and she took a lot of damage and guess what? Mythical zone devil fruits increases your general defense and Yamato is a mythical zone user. Yamato used an ability to increase her defense but still took a lot of damage. If you think about Luffy's gear 4 it's covered with hockey so his defense is definitely better than Law. Law tried to block a basic swing from Kaido and he used anti bacterial curtain but Kaido simply sent him flying. So the reason why Law didn't got one tapped here is because we still need him to fight Big Mom. I'm not saying that Kid can tank it, no one of them can do that because attacks with Conqueror's infusing is way better than Big Mom attacks although she can use advanced Conqueror's infusing but she never used it against Law and Kid even once. That's why Big Mom is known as Big Meme in our community but some people disagree for weird reasons. Moving to attack power and I believe Law's attacks are more powerful than Kid attacks. Many people think that Kid was doing a little damage to Big Mom but I don't think so. Who broke Big Mom's bones? I guess the majority will say Law is the one who broke Big Mom's bones. In my opinion Law is the reason for sure but without Kid he won't be able to do so. After Law hit Big Mom with Shock Willy, Kid attacked her with Bonk Kernadio. Now if you look at Big Mom before Kid attacks her you can see that her arm is not broken yet. Big Mom said that Law's ability is dangerous and I agree with her in this regard. Just because she never mentioned Kid doesn't mean that Law broke her arm alone. And if you think that Kid attacks are weak why would Big Mom bother to dodge it seriously? Even her homies told her to dodge that punk Cornadio and she did and after that Big Mom thought of Kid attacks as annoying. What I want to say that Law's attacks are more powerful than Kid but people really underrate Kid way too much. Now I think that Law wins this fight and it's not less than extreme difficulty. Moving to the next part and what is their future starting with Law. Against Blackbeard he did well to be honest to hold his own against a Yonko and his commanders. Aside from Buggy, Blackbeard is the weakest Yonko so far in my opinion. The reason why Law is able to fight Blackbeard is because both of them are relying on their devil fruits. Law will never be able to do the same to any Yonko even to Big Mom with a partner like Kid. After this battle Law will definitely improve his devil fruit abilities and maybe his hockey too. For Kid, he got very bad luck to clash with Shanks in Elba. We know for a fact that if you are not a good hockey user and relying the most on your dev fruit then people like Shanks are the worst nightmare. Kid got one tapped against Shanks and the same would happen to Law because this is not 
not big mean. This is one of the reasons why people underestimate Kid so much and think that Law is stronger because he did better against Blackbeard. Blackbeard is one of the most overrated characters in One Piece in my opinion. A lot of people think that he is so powerful because he has two devil fruits and probably one of Luffy's last opponents. And believe me if Blackbeard will rely on his devil fruit for long without hockey he will never be as strong as Shanks or Kaido. Because the world government is afraid of Luffy's devil fruit awakening but Kaido said that hockey is superior while slamming Luffy. And I believe Kid can do the same as Law to Blackbeard because Blackbeard can't use future sight like Shanks. Back to Kid, Shanks never implied that Kid is weak at all and called him dangerous. Big Man said that Shanks saw a hell of a future because Kid was about to do a massive damage. What made Kid look like a joke is because Shanks is a powerful hockey user and not like Blackbeard. So using Blackbeard and Shanks to scale them is disrespectful because Shanks is way powerful. We don't know if Kid will survive this one but likely he will and even become stronger than Law and here's why. When Kaido attacked Luffy with Ragnarok, Luffy realized that Kaido is caught in his attacks with Conqueror's Hockey. Shanks attacked Kid with Advanced Conqueror's Infusing so I think he will end up using it just like Luffy. I won't be surprised if that happened because Kid is already a Conqueror's Hockey user and he is known as Luffy's rival. To end this video, Kid and Law are close to each other in terms of power and they are very overrated. That was it for today's video, let me hear your opinion about this and see you in the next one.